Hey everyone, how's it going? It's been a day today. So I had the best wake up that I've had in a long time. Um, it was Sarah's voice in my head. I don't even remember what she had said. I just know that it was her voice and she was saying something funny, sarcastic, and uh, she had like that, that laugh. <sighs> Best wake up. It's uh, one of those wake ups like you're waking up out of a nightmare. Just to wake up still in that nightmare. It sucks. So it's, it's crazy because it was the best feeling, but it was just so momentary and then gone. Which made me wonder, because I don't remember dreams and I'm finding that fortunate and helpful at this point because I know there's a lot of people that somebody's died and they chase dreams. It's what they want, that, that one last hangout, that one last talk, that one last hug, again and again. And like chasing a rainbow. So for those of you that do have those dreams, curious in the comments, how do you handle the aftermath it's almost like having to say goodbye again or having this like amazing emotional positive surge but then devastatingly crushing blow to the heart I don't know. For the people that dream on a regular of their person, like, I just, I don't know how, like, saying goodbye over and over and over again. So, that was my wake up. That was my morning. That was rough. Um, thankfully, Rayla, being spunky as she is, <laughs> kept me going this morning, got me active, and had to get her ready, so all's well. So that was, that was kind of a tough start, and later at work, I was up on the dispatch floor, and it, somebody was giving instructions very similar to the instructions that were given to me when Sarah had her major uh, seizure. And so I'm working on a computer up there hearing these instructions and it's something I expected to be somewhat of a trigger which is kind of one of the reasons I avoid the dispatch floor a little bit but kind of it hurt different I don't even know how to describe it but <sighs> just thinking about all the people going through all the different things all the hurts the potential death just sucks sucks I feel sad for them because where I'm at now and what we went through getting here just for anybody to have to go through any of that sucks I honestly grown up Christmas list right I wish nobody had to deal with any of this pain suffering hurts let us have some happiness period I'm 
looking forward to 2024 and hopefully it continues to go into a positive direction. We've had since 2020 a lot of heartache and a lot of pain and a lot of a lot of hurt so I'm really hoping 2024 will let us kind of balance out um, on the good side of things my bereavement counselor has uh, is offering me a class with one of her colleagues um, it's an eight-week class where they really dig into grief. She thinks uh, with how I'm handling grief and how I'm processing things and how we're helping each other, <coughs> um, she thinks that it would be a really good class. Um, and it gets into like grief theory and some some of the more bigger, deeper things with grief. So I'm excited about that. and. I'll be able to share some of those experiences here with you guys as well. So that'll be pretty cool. So that's uh, that's what's going on. My day, like I said, started off rough, but looking forward to baking with Rayla this evening and having some fun, relaxing, uh, watching some Christmas movies too. And I really need to do some Christmas present wrapping. I haven't wrapped any of them and then I've got quite a few to do, so. <sighs> It's hard, it's bittersweet because that was something Sarah and I always did last minute together. So now I'm trying to do it last minute alone. Anyhow, that's, that's what it's looking like today. Have a wonderful day, morning, night, everybody. Um, remember, be kind, make good choices, and I will see you for sure tomorrow.